Hi, it's day 50. Woohoo! I'm halfway there. <laughs> I know I've got a couple that I got to catch up on, but feels pretty good. 50 days into 2018. <sighs> well, I wanted to talk today about keeping your word, making promises, and not breaking them. I think it's important for any couple, any friends, even and for your children particularly even at work if you say you're gonna do something if you commit to doing something then you better do it your word should be as strong as any steel you say you're gonna do it then put all your effort into getting it done don't make excuses it makes you look weak it makes you not as strong a person as, as I know you really are. Sometimes you commit to something and then afterwards you think, why did I say I would do that? I really don't want to. But follow through. It'll make you feel better about yourself and it makes those that you commit to know you as a strong person that can be trusted, who's reliable and dependable. Those are really good words to put onto your personal resume. I know I'm not talking about a resume that you use for work. I'm talking about how you feel about yourself. The things that, maybe that's a good idea. Make a resume about yourself for yourself. Who you really are, who you really believe you t yourself to be, and take a look at it. A person who sticks to their word, who follows through on commitments and promises, stands good and makes yourself feel good about yourself. <laughs> I think it's a good idea to never make a promise that you don't intend to follow through on. Don't tell a kid you're going to be there at his baseball game and then not show up. Don't ever tell a kid that you're going to, you know, he'll get ice cream if he finishes his supper and then not give it to him if he finishes his supper. Not smart. Not a good idea. If you say you're going to do something, then do it. And that goes for discipline as well. I'm not talking about punishment. I'm talking about discipline. If you say... You can't have any dessert if you don't finish your plate. Then do not give them dessert if they don't finish their plate. Follow through. I see too many times when people, uh, you know, a kid starts going, eh, 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 and whining and complaining and, oh, come on, oh, come on. If you said that they weren't going to get a treat if they didn't do something, then follow through, no matter how much whining they give you. It builds their character. And yours. <laughs> Honestly, it does a child no good for you to lay down and let them dictate what you're going to give them and what you're going to let them do. None. A child needs boundaries. And if you say you're going to do something or they can't do something, follow through. No matter how hard it is, makes you a better parent, makes them a better child that will grow up to be a better human being in this world. It's hard sometimes. But believe me, when you do it, you will be glad you did. I am so proud of the human beings that I was able to call my children and raise them and teach them and guide them they've become wonderful human beings and I think part of it is because they didn't get to whine I remember telling them when they were little whiners get nothing if you whine to me there is no chance that you're getting what you're asking for you ask me politely with respect and then I will let you know if I can afford it, if I, if I think it's a good idea. 
but you never whine at me. So that's my advice for today. <laughs> when you make a promise, keep it. When you make a commitment or you say you will do something at work, do it. Follow through. Be dependable. Be reliable. Be responsible. And you'll feel better about yourself. It is, it is a source of freedom for you to make those choices and follow through because you're the one in control. Okay, that's my blurb for today. Talk to you tomorrow.